beautiful friends, my name is Katie, and in today's video we are doing something exciting, something I love, something I really, really love. I love Black Friday and I love everything about it except for the fact that for many years I have been super, super dirt poor broke and I'm slightly against the whole let's go out on one day of the year, treat employees kind of terribly when they should be home with their families and also consumerism, not super a fan. But because of that and because of also the being slightly broke part, I have started a tradition where I always make something out of the Black Friday sale ads and I'll insert some photos right here of years in the past including something like this bow which was this one from last year which I freaking love and still have but it was so big it like didn't, it was big, it's bigger than my face. So I decided to make a slightly smaller one and also in years past I made this super cool Black Friday squad shirt that I still freaking love and literally like I made 15 of them so like my whole family still has them. Big, big, big tradition. And literally this year I was the most excited, I don't even care what's on sale, I was most excited for the newspaper to come out. Literally one of my family members got sick yesterday and needed someone to go buy prescriptions for them and I was like I'll go, I'll go so I can check and see if the newspaper's out. And of course it was. So now I have all of the ads and all of this deliciousness and it even said on the front of this that this thing literally weighs three pounds so you can just I mean like three pounds of sale ads like all of this beautiful paper all of this beautiful upcycling so so can we drop the like I'm excitedness any more times in this video but because of this and because of the fact that I'm a huge procrastinator and don't like to do things in timely manners I've decided that for this year I'm literally giving myself one hour to make my craft and one hour to edit this video so whatever you see is the result of only two hours because again I'm a procrastinator and I take way too long to do anything so instead of not ever putting this up to like you know 2025 when I no longer look like this I've decided two hours is all we get so let's get started so we're gonna set a timer for one hour and one hour from now we will have to have this project finished so first things first I've got my lovely supplies laid out including my cat which you'll see on the other camera who is like oh you're making something it needs to have cat fur because like that needs to be added so I'm going to start out with this shirt that I thrifted normally I would not start out with a base layer but we only got an hour and we're not playing around so we are going to take this thrifted shirt and we are actually going to turn it into a puffer jacket my idea for this year is that I was going to make a puffer jacket because normally here it is super super cold except this year it's freaking like 60 degrees and super hot so whatever but we're still gonna make it so I'm going to take this long sleeve shirt and I'm just gonna I don't know chop it here around here we are going to line these sleeves up together like so I don't know where my scissors are I don't know where my actual good scissors are so we're gonna use these kind of junky ones these are awful they're from like the dollar store okay so now we have sleeves that are a better length so then we're going to take our shirt okay the cat has to move you gotta move you gotta go somewhere else so we're gonna lay out our shirt and I don't really know what I was thinking with this so I think I was thinking I think I'm wasting more time by just being straight and decisive than anything else so then I'm going to just cut some of this bottom layer off so there we go so now it's Katie size so then we are going to take some of these <laughs> and not hit my cat with them um, and we are gonna just puff this bad boy out so I think I'd want like little like rolls maybe so we'll just I don't know what the best way to do this is do you have any idea she doesn't know so maybe just gonna need a lot more hot glue. This just looks like an absolute mess. This doesn't even look like anything. It's fine. My aunt wanted the Macy's coupon so I can't I can't shred those up. <laughs> Target. Target's next taking the old Target Black Friday down. That did not work at all. Find some like 
pretty ones. What are some pretty ones? What are the pretty ones? I don't know what's pretty. What's even pretty? Well, it is pretty. It is kind of pretty. This is kind of what it looks like. So it's kind of puffy. And then we're gonna figure this part out. Okay, this isn't like the prettiest thing I've ever made, but you know. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I think if I like punch this, in, that would. Work. I think you'd be pretty warm in this, though. I mean, I do. Oh man, my shoulders. Definitely not the most flattering thing I've ever worn, and it's very loud. So it's been one hour later, and here is my final result of my puffer jacket experiment in one hour. And as you can see, I did not finish the arms because holy cow, this stuff is so hard to like move around. And I think I have done a great job of officially making like the least flattering garment I could possibly try, which all does stem down to the fact that these shoulders are way too big. Like on a normal shirt, your shoulders would go in more, which these do not because these are just whatever they want to be is what they are. So that's why it looks, whoops. So that's why it looks so ridiculous. And it's just, ooh, ooh, she bad. She's so bad, but, but so, so fabulous all at the same time. Now, do I think this would keep you warm? I have no idea. I feel like maybe, especially if you used a lot more newspaper, it definitely might keep you warm, but also you would be like, I don't know. Like, I think this could keep me warm. I think this probably could. I want to say it could, but yeah, it just, it's so bad. It's so bad, it's good. Uh, it's so, so fantastically ridiculous. 
Um, it's not good from the side, it's just not good. But hey, I had a super fun time making this in literally less than an hour. I ended up stopping at like 50 minutes because my back was killing me from gluing all this down. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up because like, it's ridiculous. So why not give it a thumbs up for just being absolutely whatever this is. If you are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below because I make tons and tons of DIY videos and every single Black Friday I make something out of newspaper and some years they're beautiful and some years they're this. So yeah, let's go with that. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week, a fantastic turkey day, and a fantastic whatever you celebrate in the next month coming up. Have a great one guys, bye!